Welcome back to Talking Serpents. So this video is going to be all about do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kits. The last time I made a video, I only talked about one DIY reptile enclosure kit, and that was the one. It was a four foot wide, two foot deep, two foot tall, do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit, and that is the idea that started it all. So since then, uh, there is, I think, seven or eight different do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit sizes that I currently offer. Currently, because uh, every day I keep getting ideas for more sizes that are uh, very relevant for the reptile hobby, so I just keep making new sizes. So, I will talk about what I have currently. Two of these enclosures are brand new. You maybe have never seen them unless you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Talking Serpents. Maybe you've never even seen one of my do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kits. What is it for? Why, like, what do you need DIY for? Well, let me let me tell you. The idea of a do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit is that you have options. If you get um, other enclosures that are already um, finished, let's say you get a PVC enclosure or you know some kind of plastic enclosure, it's just one solid color. Uh, you didn't get to design your interior and you didn't get to design the exterior of the enclosure. Uh, so it's kind of, uh, it's geared towards people who are more, uh, I should say handy, but not extremely handy, because I have designed this kit in simplicity. So I have other videos showing how to do interior uh, waterproof sealants. Uh, there will be a link down in the description for that video. So the idea has always been to keep it simple, like I said. So if you have two things, which is a screwdriver and a paintbrush, then you can build this kit. Comes with very easy, comprehensible directions. All you need to do is assemble the whole structure, which is very easy. There's directional stickers, it's all in my instructions. And then you get to choose what interior waterproof sealant you want to put on the inside and like I said I have a URL for that in the description of this video and you make it nice and water sealed so if you want to do a paint a specific color paint or if you want to do a stain I personally like stains some people just keep it raw and they put a polyurethane and they clear or they uh, they clear coat it and they keep the uh, the raw wood, which also looks fantastic, because I love raw wood. That's usually why I like using wood stains, because I want to see the grain structure of the wood. I like, obviously, just to see the wood structure. It usually looks like a nice piece of art, I guess you could say, like here's the top of this. Looks beautiful. This, let me turn it sideways, kind of looks somewhat like an elephant. And what's really cool is the opposite side is also mirrored on this enclosure, which I'm super impressed with. But yeah, I, uh, I like to see the raw grain structure of wood, and apparently my customers do as well because they always send me pictures. Also, since I have come out with do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kits, I have now also launched complete reptile enclosure kits. Uh, just a few people have gotten those. I haven't really spoken about it too much. I am uh, starting a, a separate page on my website, TalkingSerpents.com, that is all about complete reptile enclosure kits. I will actually have another one going out uh, next week, and uh, that one is going to have a black exterior paint and a waterproof interior sealant. It's going to be a gray dry lock uh, extreme on the inside. That'll be all waterproofed and looking nice. So let's go over the new do-it-yourself reptile enclosure get sizes. So this one right here, is four feet wide, four feet tall, and two feet deep. And yeah, you're like, this thing is big. Like, honestly, my dog uh, got in here and my wife, and they both were not uh, even touching. There's plenty of room in there. So if you have an arboreal lizard, if you have, uh, it's like a, a big uh, boa constrictor or some other large, uh, any kind of a, like arboreal um, reptile would definitely thrive in there. Obviously, if it's would fit in this size specifically. So, what's really cool about this thing is that it is going to be shippable. This comes with two large air vents, so it has lots of ventilation. 
It has three spots for heating and lighting to be hooked into it. Uh, it will be um, ready for dual quarter inch sliding glass doors. And uh, yeah, for its size, it is ridiculously affordable. If you checked out any other manufacturers of a larger boreal enclosure, you'd probably be blown away. So I'm very excited that I have uh, an affordable enclosure uh, for for that price and that size it's it, it makes me feel very good that I'm not doing someone dirty and just overcharging so anyways that enclosure is already ready on my website talkingserpents.com now we get to the new do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit this one is eight feet wide two feet deep and 18 inches tall this is what I have my reticulated python in my false water cobra and if you ever noticed in the center of my personal enclosures, I have my yellow anaconda on the right and my ball python on the left. I have a center divider in my personal enclosure, but it's the exact same size. I personally have three of these enclosures, so they work excellent for me. So this enclosure will be ready for two sets of dual quarter inch sliding glass doors. It has two large air vents, so it's got plenty of air ventilation. It has got three different spots that are already pre-drilled for heating and lighting kits to go inside. It will come with locks, instructions, of course. And what's crazy is it's shippable. And you're like, oh, well, you could ship anything. Well, there's a difference between freight shipping and shipping with UPS and FedEx. You're like, what's the difference? You've never done it. One goes on a large truck on a pallet and the other one just gets picked up from UPS or FedEx. And the difference is price, a dramatic price difference. So I'm able to break this down into smaller pieces and fit into a much smaller box. And it is shippable and reasonable shipping costs. So I'm really excited about that. Just in case, if I haven't mentioned this specific enclosure, this one is four feet wide, two feet deep, and 18 inches tall. Great for a bearded dragon. It has the option, if you want dual quarter inch sliding glass doors, comes with a lock, of course. An air vent, and two spots for heating and lighting kits to go in this enclosure. Uh, all these enclosures are made from Birchwood, so they are nice and light. And then uh, over here, I like to call this the uh, 40 gallon breeder size. It is three feet wide, 18 inches tall, and 18 inches deep. It comes with glass, comes with a lock of course, an air vent, and two spots for heating and lighting kits. Instead of having a glass tank that you might get it at a Petco or a PetSmart. Um, well, if you've ever used those, then you should probably already know that they do not hold and retain your heat and humidity. They just escape right out of the top. Originally, I got into making all these reptile enclosure kits because my ball python needed uh, an enclosure that would hold all the heat and humidity, and wood does fantastic. And uh, yeah. That's how it all started, if you ever wondered. What enclosures are not here? Cause you can count one, two, three, four, five enclosures are currently in this room. I also have a six foot wide, two foot deep and two foot tall do it yourself reptile enclosure kit. Two sets of dual quarter inch sliding glass doors. And uh, yeah, it's uh, another large um, enclosure that I offer. And then uh, I have another arboreal enclosure, which is very similar to this one. And uh, the other one is three feet wide, three feet tall, and two feet deep. So I just wanted to thank everybody who has already purchased a do-it-yourself or complete reptile enclosure kit from me. I truly, truly appreciate the support and I hope you really enjoy your reptile enclosure, and I hope your reptile does too. Um, oh, also, I am also so, so excited every time someone sends me pictures or videos of what they envisioned 
their enclosure to look like. Because everybody sees this, you see a raw wood enclosure, but you look at it and then you can design it with different interiors and wood structures because you can screw wood structures into these things and uh, all the different color variations. Anything you can think of, you can make it happen. And then people always send me these pictures and videos and it literally makes my day. And I was like, that is incredible. Like I'll think of one thing and then somebody else will completely innovate and do something their own way. And I think that's freaking awesome. So if you like the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below as always. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.